These Pokemon are built entirely out of Lego, and today I'm going to show you how to build your own. We're using the Pokemon Pocket app to inspire our Lego creations. Every Pokemon is based on a real-world animal with awesome adaptations, and today we're bringing them to life as moving Lego bots. I'm Preston with Spratronics Learning Lab, and this week is Pokemon Week. We're using Pokemon as inspiration to learn more about animal adaptations, as well as designing some pretty amazing robots that feature those adaptations. This is a Generation 1 Crab Pokemon called Krabby. We're going to be giving you step-by-step -step directions on how to build him, how to code him, and then we're going to give you a challenge on ways to upgrade to a Kingler as well as the other forms. We'll start with the hub, which is the brain of our robot, and we're building Krabby. So we want this thing to stand horizontally, and I went ahead and put four black pins in. So I'll attach that motor right there. We'll do the same thing for our second motor, four black pins that are gonna go into the side. This is going to allow us to attach this motor onto the other side of our hub. A lot of times when we're building driving bots, we want those blue parts that turn facing out, but this time we're gonna be using a rotating beam connection in order to move things. So let's go ahead and plug in each motor onto the side that it's attached to. So into port A and to port B. I like to wrap the wires a little bit around the back just to keep them out of the way as we continue to build. For our legs, we're gonna use these two green L beams and into these green L beams down at the very bottom, the short side of that L, we are going to plug in two black pins so that we can attach these purple squares. These are going to be the feet of our crab. This is what's going to allow it to stand up and not fall down. Did you know that crabs have 10 legs? Now if you look at a picture of a crab, you'll probably only count eight and that's because two of those legs are the pinchers or the claws and those outstanding animal adaptations are what let a crab protect itself. All right now that we have our legs built we're going to actually put a pin just above the turn. So one two three blanks and then the pin right there. This is how we're going to attach our walking mechanism. Now our crab is going to do a funny crab walk dance and so we are going to make sure we have this spaced out correctly so that when we make our rotor motors go all the way around, it can dance. We can attach our legs onto the motors down here at the bottom. The way we're attaching these legs lets those legs move a little bit. And now we're gonna be attaching that rotating beam that's gonna go around. So skip that top hole, and in the second hole, put a black pin in the bottom. This pin is gonna get plugged into the blue part of the motor with the very bottom hole being attached to the leg. So you might have to turn the motor a little bit and adjust the leg, but we want this spacing to work out where the second hole has a black pin in it, goes into the blue motor part. So again, next time we skip one hole, put a black pin in, attach it to the motor and to the leg. This is the hardest part of the build, lining these up. You'll see what we're rotating it way out here. And this will let our motor turn all the way around, moving that leg. Now, this is called a rotated beam connection. We are rotating one beam to move the other one, and that lets our crab do some moving. It's time to add on some eye stalks for our crab. So crabs have those eyes that stick out high above their head. Those are attached to eye stalks. Now, a fun fact about a crab eye is it act is actually made up of hundreds of thousands of individual light sensors, each one with its own lens and cornea. They're mini eyes. They're usually hexagon shaped and they're called amatidia. Now, a crab sees kind of like a fly sees where it sees hundreds of hexagon shaped images. But we're gonna attach these eye stalks onto the back. Each eye stalk is gonna attach with two pins. I use two black pins with a gap in between them for that first eye stalk and I can't find another black pen, so I'm just holding this in place with a white pen that'll go through. We turn our 
crabby Pokemon over, and we are ready to attach those eyes up at the top. There are lots of different ways to make eyes for robots. I just chose one that was left over from my moving bot that we built the other day, and we attached a clear cylinder that's blue with an eye onto it, and you can rotate those eyes around to make them look however silly you want. We're missing an important feature for this crab, the thing that protects it, the thing that lets it catch food and defend itself, and those are the claws. I'm just using these curved pieces for claws. There are lots of ways that you can make claws and make this your own, so I can't wait to see what type of claws you use for your crabby. Some interesting facts about crab claws is they always come in pairs. They're the two front legs on a crab. The rest of the legs on a crab are four pairs of walking legs. We have completed our bot, and so now it's time to stand the crab up on his legs and send it some code that tells those motors to rotate. Here are two options to make your crab move. One set of blocks will make your crab crab walk in a straight line across a table or the floor. The other one will have your crab spinning around in circles. Pokemon evolve to become stronger, faster, and even to gain new abilities. Here's your challenge. We've already built Krabby, it's time now to evolve him. Evolve Krabby into Kingler. Let's take a close look at what Kingler has that we're gonna need to add or change on Krabby to have the evolved form. I noticed on Kingler, he's got a crown with several points. I bet I can build that using some of my orange pieces that go up into a point. I also noticed this very large claw. I bet I can build that by using some orange pieces that are even bigger than these curved yellow pieces I have. Try to build an upgraded version of Krabby, the evolved form, Kingler. I want to know, what Pokemon are you going to build with your Lego set? Leave me a comment below on what Pokemon you built and how you made it move. Did you know that Pokemon are based on real animals? Let's take a look at some amazing Pokemon and the animal adaptations that they're based on. Here are two creatures with strong shells and high defense. These next two have gigantic ears to cool themselves off and to blow air at the opponent. Finally, these long necks are perfect for reaching things up high and for defense. Go ahead and follow us for more great robotics builds as well as ways to maximize your education. Don't forget to leave a comment on what Pokemon you're going to build. Thanks for watching and happy building, trainers.